happens a lot just because this is my first um, open AJGA event um, that I'm gonna play in and uh, it's pretty cool. I had a very tough golf course to have made it into this. It's a tough track, you know, you gotta keep the ball in play. First couple holes, kinda hit in the woods, had to punch out, made some bogeys that probably shouldn't have made, but you gotta stay on your toes, game plan, keep the ball in front of you. You know, still pretty close, so I think my round I was feeling um, just making sure like I stayed steady and that was really it. Wasn't thinking too much, too little, yeah. Well, AJ has definitely allowed me to have more exposure, but not only that, I can meet a lot of different people, I can play with a lot of different people, I can see so many different places, and it's an overall really great experience. To go, so I don't really, I'm not gonna look at the leaderboard, I'm not gonna do anything different from yesterday. I'm just gonna go out there tomorrow and shoot the best I can. It shows that I worked really hard for my golf game, and I actually have a future in golf, and it proves to my parents and to myself that I am capable of a high level of golf. My goal is to commit to a college, so the future is a big thing for me. The tournaments that I'm playing right now, and especially this win, will allow me to play more AJGAs, and then I'll also be able to show that I have a high level of golf. What it proves uh, is that the hard work that I've put in um, pays off and that like no matter how long it might seem where like things might not be going so well like there's definitely going to be light at the end of the tunnel. My goals for the 2022 season hopefully win more AGGAs um, but like bottom line improve as a player and as a person. The round today is like pretty good. Every shot is well especially my putting so nice because I'm not even make three parts today. And yeah, there's some luck in I, I believe that, I'm fortunate. This tournament is like really big and it's it's like been a dream to qualify in this tournament. And um, over these days, I think I did well. Um, I wasn't nervous or anything. I just felt that, um, just like, I feel confident. I kept sticking to a game plan. I was really good with my irons today. Uh, didn't hit the driver great, but um, good iron play and good putting really got me through today. It's a great spot here at PGA West. Um, obviously, they play the tour event here, so it's a really good spot to be able to compete with the other players, and it's a good test. Um, and I think it's great that we're able to be out here, and I'm grateful for that. I mean, I just need to stay steady, stick to my game plan. It's been working so far, not get too far ahead of myself. And Hopefully finish it out. The leader for just the first round, it's really cool and it's really nice having that jump for tomorrow. But since there's still two more days, like anything can change, anything is possible. So I'm just gonna try to play my own game and stay focused and keep calm and try to drain my putts. Shots were hitting middle of the green or either stiffing and then putting, everything was going in. And then everything just seemed to work well, after, like the after half. I think I was just really focused on like hitting the fairway and hitting the green and then the putts were just like going in today so that was pretty helping. Playing PJ West I know it's a really famous course I've been here a couple times and being able to walk on the same fairway and walk on the greens and knowing that absolute legends were here it makes me feel like a legend as well and it's such an honor to be playing this course. It really solidifies my, my hard work that I put in and it's good to see a win and three solid rounds this week so that's uh, there's some confidence that I'll get from that and uh, yeah I'm looking forward to some future events this summer and this is a good thing to spring off. I think my game plan going in today was just try to hit as many fairways as possible and then hit the greens and then just make sure the putts are going in. I think that's a, like a really special moment and I'm really grateful to be in this position. It feels really great because I haven't been able to play any AJGAs for like three years already. Um, and to be back with a four under in the lead just feels really amazing. Um, I really, really like this course because it reminds me of my home course back in New Zealand, um, Royal Auckland in the Grange. Um, very flat, but you know, the greens are very good and also the course is in great condition. Yeah. For tournament golf, AJGA does a good job for getting the right courses. So it's definitely a good day and I'm excited for the next three days. Fun. Um, I'm excited for the next three days. My group, my group was really funny. It didn't seem like it was even a tournament at all. 
We were kind of just joking the whole time, and it was very relaxed, good round. Um, well, I just I live in Florida during the school year. Coming from Bermuda grass to bent grass, it's, it's hard to adjust, but I made my way around. Feeling really okay. I mean, I let some shots go here and there, but I'm just prepared. I'm just getting ready for the, this afternoon. To be honest, it's a challenging course. Yeah, uh, so I'll just try to stick to my plan. Yeah, and play well the next two rounds. I'm feeling happy. Uh, that's for sure. It's my first AJJ win, so it's a special moment. Uh, I'd like to thank my mom and dad for driving us and flying us, flying me and my brother to different places so I can play golf tournaments. And I also and I also like to wish happy birthday to my dad. I'm so excited to win this tournament. It means a lot to me. Like, I've been working hard, and yeah, that hard work pays off. First of all, I would like to thank my family for always supporting, yeah, and all my coaches, yeah, for always supporting as well. And thank you the for uh, thank you the Piedmont Club for hosting the, this tournament. Good morning and welcome to the final round of the Insperity Invitational Patrick Reed AJGA Junior Championship. Around the greens, it's kind of hard to get an up and down, so I just knew I had to hit them, but yeah. AJGA does a great job with every tournament, but with this tournament especially, there's a huge member base here at the Woodlands Country Club and uh, that want to help us. You know, it's kind of taxing whenever you go and play in other states and the guys you're playing with are from the area and so they have a big crowd and a big gallery watching them and, um, you know, you have to mentally, you know, kind of get through that and so to have it on my side this time felt really good. I just recently played a tournament where I had to do a playoff so that kind of gave me some confidence. This course is very challenging, I will say, so just played it smart the whole week and then it just happened. Welcome to the UHY St. Louis Junior at Franklin County Country Club. Yeah, I'm just so thrilled to be here. Um, I think the main thing was that I was able to stay within myself and focus on the process, and luckily the result turned out. I played really well. I was making a lot of putts, hitting the fairways. The course was in great condition. So. It's cool, especially it, it hit different because it was it, it is Father's Day. And so it just felt really special to have a, finally have a win on a day that I could celebrate with my dad as well. I think this course just really suits my game. It's not too long, it just requires good tee shots. And uh, today I did that pretty well, which is why I was able to score well. I just like how much care is put into these tournaments, like having water on like every hole and like just Overall, the facility is always really nice, and the host course is always so nice to the juniors. Uh, to be honest, like, I'm normally not that nervous, but I feel like I was a little more nervous today. But I knew what I had to do, so I kind of went in with confidence and a little bit of nerves. <laughs> I love the competition that AJJ provides, and it's really competitive, and it's tough to win one. I played great today, my ball striking was really good, and it was pretty stress-free. I hit it great today. I putted pretty well. I made some really important putts, so I go to one. I think that I hit some really important tee shots. Some of the tee shots are pretty, pretty tight, so I think that that definitely helped, and some of the putts that I made were very important overall. I mean, front nine, I kind of started off all right, just making a lot of pars, and then started making a lot of putts in the back nine, so just feel really about hitting tee shots here, and the rest of it's not too bad. Not good. The course really suited my game really well because it's more of a positioning course off the tee. And you get, it's more of a, like a shot shaping course and like I play a big draw. And most of these holes, it, it played for a big draw off the tee and that's, I mean, it just really helped me in that way. I think this course suited my game because there are a lot of holes where it's dug like to the left so it helps me because I can hit a draw there. Um, the fairways are narrow though so it's a little bit difficult. 
Um, it means a lot to win the Mercy Health Foundation All-Star because it's my first first AJGA event and um, one of my goals at the beginning of the year was to win an AJGA event and I think I accomplished that. Uh, it means a lot for the Mercy Health Foundation to uh, sponsor this event because I mean obviously it wouldn't go on without them and they had a big role in this today. It means a lot because they're giving kids like me opportunities to play and a course like this as well as a foundation it really everything comes together. I'm in Canada for most of the rest of the season and so my goal is just to com continue playing well and hopefully be back here in the U.S. playing another AJJ. Mercy Health Foundation and Neuropeak Pro made this event possible. To win this means a lot. It's my first tournament I've ever um, won for AJGA and it was just really great for moving forward in future events. What it means for me to win the Mercy Health Foundation preview is that it was my first AJGA tournament to win and it just meant a lot because I played really well. This course suited my ball striking. I hit it really well. Uh, my irons were really well and I just was able to get on the green and just took play.